So we're up here having Cuban cigars and beer and everything on the, the patio of Asphodel Studios uh, with Stefan Bitka. Sorry, Stefan Bitka. 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 Absolutely I don't want to correct. mispronounce it. Fine. And not human. Yeah. So we have some sort of interesting circumstances. Uh, we've toured the building. We've seen every room of it. And Stefan, you have you've only basically seen the kitchen and the office. <laughs> I've seen the, and the patio, and my so. bedroom and the bathroom. So, <laughs> so what? What's, I'm not allowed to go down. There. <laughs> we've been holding you from it, but what's? Because um, of this special occasion, what do you, Yeah, what yeah. do you what do you know so far about it? What what's sort of your expectations of what's downstairs? I, I can't I can't really wait to go down there, but I, of course I know a couple of people that talk that have been here in the past and. We're talking in the best ways about it. In the interviews, I always talk about that, that my idea is the, mix, the, the, the combination between music and architecture. I'm very influenced by architecture. I like the city of Berlin because of its architecture and it's very influential for my music. Like open spaces, big streets turned down buildings, you can throw a hole in the wall and behind that in the distance you see something coming up and that is like the explosion of a reverb when you just turn the knob on the mixing board and the bass is getting kind of rumbling and really shaking the building and so that, that, that's, that's the, the key part. <laughs> about Paul's music, what are you most excited to, to show Stefan in, in the studio? Well, I, I, we, we share something that we've already touched upon. That's the dub aesthetic coming from the roots, growing up with this kind of music. The way the mixers in Jamaica would just be in the studio and, and bring in different things in and out. And how about an entire environment that can do this with film, with sound installation, with multi-channels, and so we can just take this dynamic out to the next step. My, the main issue in my music, how I make music, is really um, using the method of dub, which is, I'm, I'm, I'm not Jamaican, I'm not making reggae music, but um, to use a mixing board as a central, central instrument. <laughs> Stefan, I guess uh, being the, the connoisseur of mastering and studios that you are, uh, maybe we should go check it out. Yeah, okay. Let's yeah. go down there yeah. to the studio right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm now, I would work here the whole night and create something. It's like Greenland. Massenberg and the Massive Passive, you know, a bunch of these tube guys, and then uh, the, the the Tube Tech uh, yeah, EQ, EQ and compressor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have this one and I have the two uh, CB1. I have two of CB1s in addition to that one. I like them a lot. There's more. But yeah, but first worked. of all, I have to see everything and understand what is what and how it is connected. <laughs> I mean, it's really a lot of information. Oh God, it's 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 madness. It's really mind blowing. Honestly, what you created here is fantastic. seen a 
room like that ever before. I mean, not like that, not that much specialized on audio video with a good sound. Very often you have video screens, but the sound is not that much good. Sometimes the other way around, you have four screens on the walls and that's it, but it's a surround cinema. And it's really, you, wherever you are, you, you feel being in the movie, in the piece. Stefan, what do you think? Any, any sparking ideas? <laughs> I mean, I come from an audio side of work, right? So visuals are very in important for me, but I can't really create visuals. So the first idea that came to me actually was the, 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 the astonishing sound in there. So I would love to, to do some, uh, like, like work on the ultimate bass sound. I mean, stay here for one week and create the ultimate bass sound that nobody heard before. And then working with somebody who is um, trying to transform this bass sound onto the screen uh, as well. That would be something that, that I could think of doing here, actually. Really stay here, use the, the, the technical equipment, the synthesizers, and try to bring it as low as possible to be re reproduced on a, on a speaker and see how far it can go. With it.